In this video, we will explore various aspects of the school budget. We will look at three items, budget expenses, revenue, and the tax levy cap. So let's take a look at what expenditures are for Southhold. We will get to the revenue side of the budget in a little bit. We begin with the budgeted number for expenditures of the current school year, $27,024,043. This number reflects all of our obligations to fund programs, services, and operations for the school district. When preparing a budget for the future, the school district maintains three guiding principles. Prepare for a new future, support the whole rather than the parts, and do not look for quick fixes over the long-term concern. Expenditures for the 2013-14 school year are projected to increase to $28,089,800 or a 3.82% increase. This includes all contractual obligations as well as significant increases in both health care and pension costs. In fact, 75% of the budget is for salaries and benefits. Let's look at two of these factors, health care and pension costs. Health insurance premiums have gone from $2.6 million to over $3 million over the past five years. It should be noted that by contract, all employees contribute a percentage to the premium obligation faced by the school district. There are two types of pension costs that impact the school budget. One is for teachers and administrators, or TRS. The other is for civil service employees, or ERS. Over that same five-year period that we just looked at for health care costs, pension costs have risen from $1.1 million to $2.5 million. Health care and pension costs have been rising by double-digit percentages over the past five years. Let's turn to the revenue side of the budget. In order to meet its obligations, the school districts derive revenue from two primary sources, property taxes and state aid. Let's look at the breakdown for Southhold. Here, 92% are derived from property taxes, 5% from state aid, 2% from federal aid, and 1% from other sources. Let's focus on the issue of property taxes because it represents such a large share of the revenue picture for our school district. You may ask, but I thought there was a 2% tax cap. Well, here's where it gets a little complicated. The law that was passed in 2011 provided a complicated formula represented in this graphic. As you can see, first you multiply, then add, then subtract, subtract again, multiply, subtract, and you get to your tax levy limit. However, you also need to consider that there are exclusions that can be added to that formula. Let's look at a simplified version for Southhold. Here you will see that the areas that we just spoke about are represented in broad categories. The 2% that we referred to earlier comes out to $452,083, but the exclusions that were circled in red previously add to that amount, and that brings us to a total of what is allowable, which is 4.01%, which is at or close to the Suffolk County average. So, in this video, we've looked at expenses, revenue, and the tax levy cap. In our next video, we will examine the issues of fund balance, the use of reserves, and sharing resources with other school districts.